Hi, this tutorial deals with one important issue related to the uh, processing of 3D model, uh, the fact of dealing with the, the position of the model with respect to the, the coordinate, the word coordinates. This means that it, each uh, 3D model is uh, defined in a space which is defined as the word coordinates. Uh, this means that uh, every uh, position of the vertices and triangles is related to an origin and a particular disposition of the axis of the word coordinates. Uh, this is quite easy to be shown in MeshLab. Is you just go and render and show axis, and here you have visualized the position of the origin and all of the reference uh, axis of the of the coordinate system. Okay, this means that uh, this uh, model, which is apparently uh, well aligned with respect, uh, quite well aligned with respect to the axis, uh, actually is not uh, so well aligned. If I click Ctrl H, which resets the view and puts me in the original point of view, uh, the one which is uh, uh, defined as the frontal point of view with respect to the uh, coordinate system, you see that the, the gargoyle is uh, upside down. Okay. The positioning of a model with respect to the origin and to the axis is extremely important uh, for a number of operations like for example for showing uh, um, predefined points of view to make some kind of measurement so it's Im extremely important that uh, we are able in an easy way to uh, move the model and align it to the axis. Um, so uh, there are other uh, filters in MeshLab that give the possibility to, to change the position of the model with respect to the coordinates. Uh, but there is one uh, uh, new feature in MeshLab which is extremely uh, useful and uh, powerful. So and this is the, called the manipulator, which is this icon here. The manipulator gives you the possibility to move the model with respect to the axis and assign to the model a new position in the word coordinates. Okay, so to activate the feature, you just click on it. And the feature is uh, very simple to the one that can be found in Blender. Uh, and uh, it uh, essentially works with a series of use of uh, uh, keys uh, that define uh, simple movements. And uh, the user is... Uh, um, needs to combine simple movements, movements until it finds the desired position for the model. So, um, first of all, my uh, advice is uh, to put yourself in an orthographic view because uh, this uh, helps a lot in aligning to the axis. So, like every edit functionality in MeshLab, you can switch between the edit mode and the easy navigation or the, the classic navigation of the model using the ask key. So if I click ask, you see that the trackball is appearing and if I interact with the model, I just make the classic navigation. Okay. If I click ask again, I'm back on the edit functionality. So if I switch to the navigation mode, I can change the field of view with the, the control uh, shift plus wheel until I find myself in an orthographic view. Okay, now I'm, I'm in orthographic view that helps me a lot. For example, it's very easy to find a position where the z-axis becomes like point, okay? I'm looking at the model almost exactly in the di direction of the z-axis, okay? So if I switch back to the manipulator, my goal should be to have uh, uh, the model aligned to the y and x-axis and uh, in a straight position. So what I can try to do is to combine a series of simple movements, like for example, rotation and translation. The first thing that I will want to do is to rotate the model around the x-axis until I put it in a more or less straight position. So following the indications here, I click R to rotate, to define the rotation. After that, uh, now I'm uh, just rotating the model in the axis of my particular point of view, which in this uh, case is quite uh, 
precise but for example if I uh, press the, uh, the Z key I will change the rotation and uh, make it uh, the, a rotation around the Z axis of the world coordinate so if I push Z you see here you rotate around the Z axis then if I click with the left uh, mouse button and move the mouse you see that I'm applying a rotation to the model so I rotate it around the Z axis until I'm quite satisfied with the, the final result so if I'm satisfied with this movement I press return to apply it otherwise I can press the backspace to get back to the, uh, the previous position so if I press return now I, I have applied this rotation then I still haven't finished my work because if I change my point of view like this I see that I need to make uh, also a bit of rotation around the x-axis okay so I switch back to the manipulator and I click R and then X and now I will rotate around the x-axis I put the model more or less in a straight position and uh, I apply the movement with the return key after that I want also to apply a small translation of the object in the y direction of the axis in order to bring uh, the, the lower uh, the, the bottom plane of the of the model uh, in an aligned position with the, the xz plane okay so if i click uh, I, I push the t now i am in a translate uh, mode and if i push y i will move the the, the model in direction of the y axis like this okay so if i apply a small translation like this one I almost align the model to the XZ plane. I apply the movement, I switch back to the navigation, and I can just check if the, the alignment that I got is, uh, is the right one. Okay. So if I, now if I click Ctrl H, I will see how the, the model will appear when I will load it. So Ctrl H, and this is how it appears. Suppose that I want that model uh, is uh, uh, visualized in the frontal position I have to apply another movement which is a rotation around the, the y-axis so I switch back to the edit mode I, I push R and Y to define the rotation around the y-axis okay I find more or less a straight position I apply the movement and now I have something that is more frontal with respect to the initial point of view okay so with a series of very simple movement I uh, modified the position in the space of the model with respect to the world coordinates please remember that uh, uh, the rigid roto translation is applied only with a transformation matrix like this so it's not uh, already definitely really applied to the model if I want to apply to, to assign this uh, uh, position forever to the model I have to freeze the current matrix okay and you can do that quite easily in mesh layer freeze current matrix in this way this position will be the, the, the position of the model at any time when I open it okay another interesting thing that I can see if I put my model in the frontal view you see that I I found an almost per perfect alignment of the of the basis but the model itself, itself is not straight in the sense that you see that uh, uh, on the eighth uh, uh, direction uh, the, the, it's not, uh, it doesn't appear straight. This is because the real object is not straight. So even the concept of aligning a model with respect to the world coordinates really depends on the kind of model you have and what you want to, uh, to obtain uh, when you make the alignment. So if you prefer to have a model which is more straight uh, with respect to the y-axis direction you maybe can try to apply a small uh, rotation of the model uh, while your, uh, uh, the basis of the, of the model won't be aligned to the x-z uh, plane anymore for example I can try to do that just to show you also that the movement that you can apply again around the z-axis you can see here that if you press Z another time you won't rotate anymore around the world coordinate center but you can rotate uh, around uh, uh, sorry if you, if you press space you won't rotate anymore around the Z axis 
but you will rotate around the bounding box of the model. So if you rotate around the axis, it's a model like this one. It's a movement like this one. I click backspace to cancel that. And if you rotate around the bounding box, you have a movement like this one. Okay. So this is probably a bit better if you want to align the model with respect to the y-axis. Okay. Apply this one. Then, for example, I can also make a small rotation of the object to have it more centered. This is another possible alignment of an object with respect to the axis. Okay? This is up to you and up to the things that you want to apply to the object. Uh, clearly, this uh, uh, manipulator uh, can be extremely useful if an, even if also if you have to deal with uh, more than one object. So if I load another object like this one, you see that you can change the relative position of the object in the scene by using the manipulator. So only the object which is the current one, the one uh, indicated in yellow, will be the one which will be uh, changing in its position. So if I switch back to the edit mode and apply the translation, you see that I now am moving the dragon. So you can also change the relative position of multiple objects in the same project. And this, is, can be, this can be extremely useful in a number of uh, uh, applications. Okay, so the manipulator is extremely powerful. You have just to follow the indications on the uh, upper left part of the screen and uh, it will give you a possibility to make very nice stuff. Thank you.